We're going to be having a wonderful time and sharing some experiences with the one and only Archbishop Margaret Benton Idahosa for her 77th birthday. So I want to quickly just touch on some of the work that you're doing lately. I know that there's the Bomb of Gilead City, which is having so much going on. There's the All Nations of Christ Bible Institute in there, it has a clinic in there, the, the meeting ground for most of your, your larger meetings are happening there now. And you've done so much in the past, even in the last 10 years, you've, you've just blown our minds. We want to know now what, what is next for Archbishop Margaret Benting de Hosa, what's next for you? You're 77 years old. Most people would say, oh, it's time for me to just go relax now. I, but there's still that spark in your eyes. There's still that zeal. Every, every, every time I speak to you on the phone, you're always ready to go. You're, what are you doing? You're asking me, where, where are you? Why are you at the office? What's going on? So I want to know now, what do you want to do now? You, you've pretty much done almost anything that we could have thought you would have done and so much more. So what do you want to do now? What, what, what is next for you now? Let me, let me answer you in a testimonial mm. uh, way. Mm -hmm. Archbishop left us with 89 school. Mm -hmm. 2020, mm -hmm. we have over 150 schools. That's right. He left us with one Bible school. Today, we have satellite Bible school in five states. Mm -hmm. He left us with one faith mediplex. Mm -hmm. 2020, we have, we have expanded mm -hmm. that faith mediplex. And we have one in EU. Even though the one we, uh, we have in EU was there before he left, but it was a small, tiny house mm -hmm. that we rented. But now it's expanded, and I'm so grateful to God. He left us with thousands of churches. Mm -hmm. Me, I have lost count now, <laughs> because evangelism, oh, as yeah. he taught us, is our supreme task. Mm -hmm. There is no other job that God has given you and I that are alive today than making disciples or preaching the gospel or preaching the finished work at Calvary unto people, or bringing them from the uh, Mary clay and setting them on the solid rock to see. That is our number one, uh, our number one job. For you that is watching me, that, and if you are a child of God, that is your number one job. You are a medical doctor, yes, put some tracks in your office. When you are finished uh, treating people, take your child and say, hey, I want you to read this. Whatever you are doing, that is the job that God has given unto us. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. That is the word of God. And not only that, he said in Mark 16, that these signs shall follow them that believe. You cannot sit at home and signs and wonders will be on the field. You have to be on the go. You have to be on your way. You have to be in the field. You have to be in the office. You have to be everywhere. Everywhere you go, make sure you preach the gospel. The gospel does not know age. Whether you are retired or not retired, the gospel must be preached. That is what the Archbishop left for us and that is what we are doing. Focus on Christ. Focus on Christ and every other thing shall be added unto you. So you said to me, what is it there now? Mm -hmm. I know that I am 77. I may not be able to do what I, I used to do at 30, at 40 or at 50, but the gospel remains the same. And once you open your mouth and the word of God comes out, signs and wonders will definitely follow. I was saying that God said this in his work, signs and wonders shall follow you wherever you go. And if you sit at home, 
signs and wonders will sit with yes, you. But the moment you move, signs and wonders will say, Ah, I don't have a reason to be at home. Why must I sit at home when the man of God, the woman of God is out on the field? I must go and accomplish that which God has said. So evangelism is our supreme task. Focusing on Christ and Christ himself doing all that we have asked him to do. Is my next pr uh, uh, program more souls. win souls. Win more souls. Yes, win souls, 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 souls. Amen. The Bible says, he that winneth a soul is wise. I don't want to be foolish. Mm. I want to be wise. You're wise. And yes, okay. so that I know the difference between wisdom, between the good and the bad. I want to be wise. And if I want to be wise, I must preach the gospel. Wherever I am, I preach the gospel. I'm in, I'm in the aircraft. I preach the gospel. I sit down with a man or a woman. Hey, how are you? You are blessed. You are loved. Do you know who Jesus is? Oh, praise the Lord. You, oh, say, hey, yes, I've heard about him. I start preaching. Preaching the love of Christ. There's nobody who will resent love. Preaching the love of Christ. Holding hands with the person and praying. And I have done that many times. I'm in the car. I'm wherever I am. As long as there are people there. I will open my mouth to preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we are in 2020, probably the most unique year of the past hundred years. People would say that the world has changed. Ooh. And yeah, it's it's never been like this before. A lot of Not a lot of people all. are in some sort of shock about what has happened here. But you seem to be cruising right through 2020 like you're, you're online, you're doing your, your, your feeds, I'm you're, more busier you're, now. you're busier now. <laughs> you're busier now than I've ever seen you being this busy. Is there a mantra or a thing that you tell yourself every day that just gets you through this particular set of circumstances? It's just unusual. We don't, you know, no one can say this is exactly how 2020 is going to end, but we know where we're coming from. And, and is there something that you tell yourself to get through this particular season or this time? Is there a mantra that you say to yourself every day or something that we can also glean from to, to be like you, to shine like you, to just keep, wow. to keep going and wow. just wow. act like nothing, no, nothing, nothing phasing you, just wow. moving on? Praise God. Amen. Ah. COVID-19 has come and there has been a lockdown. But I tell myself, this is not the time to weep and cry and be sorrowful. This is the time to think. Because there is a paradigm shift now. The whole world is changing. Even I believe God is resetting the world himself. What about you and I? I'm resetting my, 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 my lifestyle. I'm resetting the things I used to do, that I will no longer go back to do. I was telling the Christian Women Fellowship International on the net that, listen, this is the time to do exploits. Don't you dare believe that, oh, COVID-19 be over, and then you go back again and start where you stop. No, 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 no. It means you are going back. This COVID-19 has come for us to move to the next level. Amen. This is the time to, 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 to shift in our mind because there is a shift now. This is a time now to, to think out of the box what we want to do. This is the time for us to, 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 to do exploits. Uh, before COVID-19, I didn't know that there was something called Zoom. <laughs> but now there is Zoom. Now you're, you're great at Zoom. Yes. <laughs> I can sit in my room. Whether I'm wearing night dress or I'm wearing kitchen clothes, nobody, knows, nobody cares to know. know. You are in Zoom. I can be in Australia. 
I can be in America right from my room. It was not so before. After it, do I, do I still want to, 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 to go back to where I was? No. I can't go back. I have to rely, shift from where I used to be. I have to, I have to do things better now. Like, like, like the, um, uh, the woman, the widowed uh, woman that uh, the creditors came to take her children away. I know, I, I know that uh, they have been coming before. They've been taking maybe television, taking uh, radio, mm -hmm. taking chairs, taking mm -hmm. whatever. But now they came the for the children. And she said, now what do I do? Oh, there's a man of God that my husband used to know. He went to the man of God. Mama God said, what do you have at home? She said, mm, I don't have anything but save a little oil in a small little jar. Which means everyone has something in the house that can do something to make you think and live better. And the man of God said, I'm just freaking, I'm just saying it's not so that uh, we won't uh, uh, take much time. And the man of God said, yes, before you came here, you were poor. Whether it's COVID-20 that was uh, worrying you or that you, you passed through or COVID-18, whatever you passed through, you, you see? But the little oil that you have, go and borrow. You know, oh, I can preach on this now. <laughs> go and borrow empty vessels. Empty vessels. Empty you vessels. know, every house she mm -hmm. went, there was there an empty, empty vessel. Vessels. There was an empty vessel that needed to be filled with the yeah. power of God. Mm -hmm. She collected all wow. and she filled all with oil. Mm -hmm. I went to the man of God. I said, man of God, I don't do a finish. What do you want to say? Go and sell and live all the days of your life. She went, <laughs> before she went in, before she closed the door, she was poor. Mm -hmm. She was empty. She was criticized. She, I mean, they, they said all manner of things. Ah, glory. After she sold the oil, she became a distributor without a factory of oil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> when she, she sold, she lived better. She didn't go back to that small little uh, 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 oil. Mm -hmm. She didn't go back. That is what COVID-19 has done for us. Mm -hmm. He has made us to discover the little things that we have. And if you don't think about that little thing to make it better, you go back. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying this, that COVID-19 has come for us to think better. COVID-19 has come for us to shift because there is a shift already. Monte, I want to thank you so much for your time. I know it's, it's busy. I know it's a tough, tough time. It's a lot, a lot of interviews, a lot of Zoom meetings. I know you have a Zoom meeting probably oh, yeah. in the next 10 minutes. I want to thank you so much for shedding light on some of these issues. And I know that um, there are people who needed to hear, both men and women needed to hear this. And on your 77th birthday, I want to, on behalf of your children worldwide, wish you a happy 77th beautiful and glorious birthday mom we love you happy thank birthday you. thank you very much before i leave i must pray i must pray for the young yes women, please do the young boys the widow the widower and the pastors so mm. i must pray Amen. i want to i want to let you know whatever you are going through now god is aware mm. my son preached a message and said there is nothing that will happen that God will put his hand on his head and say, Oh, co, 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 what is this that happened? Everything that has happened is in the presence of our living God. I want you to know that whatever you are going through now, according to the word of God, whatever it is, whatever temptation, whatever test, whatever trial that has come according to Corinthians, whatever it is, there is a way out. And that way is the green light. The Bible says God is faithful. Amen. He is faithful. Yes. He is faithful. He knows the end from the beginning. 
and he will show you the green light. He is faithful and he will take you through. And whatever it is that you are going through will not kill you, will not destroy you. Even though it is sickness that has come, the Bible says if you are in water, I will be with you. If you are in the, in, in, in the fire, I will be with you. Amen. God's love towards you is more than what you can think. He wants you to live a better life. He, he has come. He has died for you. He, he, he doesn't want you to die. The Bible said in John 10, 10, the thief comes, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Hallelujah. The Bible said, I, your God, has come. I'm not God. I'm just saying, I, God in heaven. He said, I have come that you, 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 out there, in your sick bed, in your hospital, in the room, crying. It's God is telling you, Margaret, I have come for you. Rhoda, I have come. Felix, get up. Get up from, 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 from your weeping uh, uh, situation. I have come that you ah, may have life. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to let you know COVID-19, we have killed it. We have killed it. It's just the residue that is just going on now. Don't worry about it. I will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this time out. Everyone that is sick now, everyone that has problems, everyone that even has COVID-19, loving God, you died at the cross of Calvary to set us free. I decree that the blood of Jesus that is still flowing. Heal them wherever they are. In the hospital, heal them. At home, heal them. Wherever they are, oh God, we decree your healing because your word declares, by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. 39 lashes were given to Jesus at the back and they tore his flesh and blood gushed out. And that is the blood of Christ. The blood that availeth much. The blood that knows no balm. The blood that is your ransom and my ransom. I decree that blood upon you in your sick bed, in your sick hope. Today, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be set free. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the businessman, the businesswoman, that the business is going down. I ask, O oh God, that I raise by the authority given unto me by God, I raise that business up in the name of Jesus. I pray for the young woman that is about to get married. Don't worry about, I, I don't have a car, I don't have a house. Look, I am going to pray for you that you look into the future. Focus on Christ, and Christ will come through for you. Father, I thank you. Your word declares in Isaiah, O oh God, that none shall lack his mate. None shall lack her mate. I decree and I declare, wherever you are, believe God with me, that your mate is coming. Your mate is coming. I decree and I declare it so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for the widow. I pray for the widower. Lord, this is not the end of their lives. There is more to life. Your future is great. Your future is bright. Your future is powerful. Just surrender yourself to Christ and move on because life goes on. Thank you, everlasting Father. Life goes on. I decree strength from within into their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the teenagers. I pray for the youths. I pray for the children. 
I ask the everlasting Father that you cover them with your everlasting wings where no thief can go through. In the name of Jesus, let them grow in fear and in your favor. Favor them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ.